Lord Eye here. You know, the Frogman. So, uh, I'm afraid Maniac couldn't quite make it. And, uh, he seems to be, uh, having some trouble, you know, seeing correctly. It has nothing to do with all the eyeballs on the table. I just, just don't pay attention to those, but he wanted me to let you guys know that, uh, Ikoria is here. Hey, Frogman? Uh, uh oh. What? Uh, did you start the video without me? No. You did, didn't you? Uh. Well, without further ado, Maniac. What's going on, everybody? Maniac here, Maniac Gaming. And yeah, Ikoria is finally here. I've got tons, tons of goodies. But, you know, I figured I'd start with the good, goody, 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 good, 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 good stuff. Yeah, and don't worry, not just this. I've got more collector booster boxes, regular booster boxes, pre-release packs, all that stuff, and videos to come. So this is only the beginning. Yes, it's finally here. Let's get this cracked open. I am so excited. Get some Godzilla. Oh. Wow. It's so strong. My uh my knife didn't even penetrate. Look at that. What is what is going on here? I had to actually put some pressure down. Put some pressure. Very first. And definitely not the last, Ikoria Collector Booster Box on the Mania Gaming YouTube channel. You guys, it's time. Will we get some beers out of these packs? Let's find out. Oh, that's right, they're uh, oh, it's a pretty, pretty feather token. Look at that. You got your human soldier on the back, very nice. All right, so up front, looks like we got our commons. I'm sure most of you have probably already seen all this. Well, that's uh, yeah, we got four commons, all foliage. Looks like now we've got our uncommon so that guy looks like he's having a fun time and we got a basic land foil oh here's our first rare decoy gambit then we've got a garuda doom of the depths an extended art very nice and Umori, the collector, and it's rare foliage. Ooh. So we got our uh, alternate art uncommons here. It's an uncommon and then a common. And then we've got a alternate art extended dirge bat. Rare foil, rare non foliage. Ooh. Oh, we've got a Godzilla. I'm not even sure where I'm going to put these. I'll put that there. This is the, uh, the uncommon Godzilla. And a Porcuparrot. For our alternate foil uncommon. Where do I want to put this? We'll put those there. This is going to get... This is going to get wild. That's a whole lot of alternatives. Ooh. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Man, Wizards really brought their A-game on for this set. I've been seeing all the, uh, you know, sneak previews and everything. And definitely very pleased with the, uh, the art. Where was I putting my uncommons? There we are. And oh, another 
land. Okay. Nesting ground. Looks like we've got a uh, land from the new land cycle. Not a foil or anything, but still pretty cool nonetheless. Mythos of Snapdax. Another rare extended. Pretty, pretty cool art there. Oh, look at that. We got a box topper and a Yadaro Wandering Monster. And that extended art foilage. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Um, yeah, we'll put that there, I guess. Why not? And an Everquill Phoenix and its alternate art extended goodness. And a Gigan Cyberclaw Terror. I mean, like, ah, these cards are gorgeous. And a Leviathan. Not 100% on values at, at this time. Got a Sharknado. And it's magnificent foilness. Imagine this is just a human in every one, right? Yeah. Oh, well, it's a different art human. Look at that. And we've got our four common foils. And our uncommons. And land. And behind that we've got a Glade Muse. And a Labyrinth Raptor. Extended art. Titan's Nest. At the beginning of your upkeep, look at the top card of your library. You may put that card into your graveyard. Exile a card from your graveyard. Add colorless mana. Spend this mana only to cast colored spells without X and its mana cost. Huh. It's an interesting enchantment. Cavern Whisperer. Another Porky Parrot. Get ourselves a mythic, the Vadrock Apex of Thunder. That is very, very pretty. Look at that guy. And we've got a King Caesar. Oh, there's another card back there. Even. And an auspicious Starks. It's really crazy how uh, even on like these these uncommons how they're putting the uh, the stamps on them now to kind of show off you know like hey this is uh you know it's special ish kind of really i'm really curious to see how values hold up with this set like it just seems like there's just a lot of nice stuff Look at that. Really digging how like like all the human soldiers aren't the same for the tokens. All right, even that's pretty. Look at that, and that foliage there. Those those pretty flower petals. All right, let's see what we get here. Whoop! Oh, we got a Nikara. Very nice. I will take a Nakara, even though it's nothing, you know, too crazy, but still pretty good. It's a good card. And an Offspring Revenge in its extended art gloriousness. Look at that guy. Kind of reminds me of uh, Trico from... Uh, a PlayStation game. Oh, we've got another box topper and an unpredictable cyclone. Very, very nice. Something always about fire. Even though I guess it's a cyclone, but it looks like it's a cyclone and lava, so it is still kind of fire. I really like the alternate art. 
We got a Grim Razor. Pretty cool. And a baby Godzilla. I, I mean, I know it's nothing special, but I was really hoping to get my hands on this adorable little guy. I will probably enshrine him on my wall and where he will live forever. And a Boneyard Lurker. Yeah, I'm going to put him up there because he's awesome. He is awesome. How about you guys? You guys, I imagine, you know, you've been uh, enjoying opening up Iracoria as well. I hope. You've been waiting. Seems, feels like forever. Alright, let's see what we got here. A species specialist and a lava brink venturer. I think my piles are all messed up, but it's fine. And ooh, another box stopper. Death's Oasis and its foil extended art goodness. It's quite pretty. Ooh, we've got a planeswalker. Narset of the Ancient Way in our extended art. Glory. Very, very nice. Very. Oh, there it is. We got a beer. We got a beer. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. I, I, I Last I checked, I know that this card, like, had plummeted in value, and it's nothing crazy anymore. But still, it's, uh, you know, a first print run only card. It's pretty cool. I will take it. We'll go ahead and stick our beer with our baby, our baby Godzilla. All right, again, about halfway through. Um, some pretty decent pulls here. Oh, see, they haven't quite fixed that printer issue. There it is. There you kind of see it right there. It's not as bad as I've seen in a lot of these collector packs, but. Uh, let's see here. We're going to try to push through those commons there. And, oh, 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 it's just the land. It's just the land. False alarm. Oh, wow. What? It's definitely not what you're looking for in that slot. We've got a haunted nightmare. And it's extended art. Oh, okay. So we've got a foil haunted nightmare and an extended art haunted nightmare. Pretty much back to back oh that's such an awesome card look how gorgeous that is I was wanting one of these too excited to get one Ooh, look at that that's gorgeous the Indatha Triome that is beautiful And King Caesar, Woken Titan. Very nice. We've got our, another mythic full art here. He is pretty awesome looking. Very nice. Tell you what, this is why people get collector's boxes. I, I just... I wish the print runs were smaller on them to make them, you know, more worth it. This little Thornwood Falls foil. Take that. And... Alright. And... Oh, come on. A twinning staff. It's not just winning. It's twinning. Another unpredictable cyclone. This time. Oh. Okay. That's uh, almost the second time that that's kind of happened there. Um, we've got the extended art 
rare and the foil rare variant back to back. Interesting. And a dirge bat. Extended art. Ooh. Another baby Godzilla. This time the non foil variant. I will take it. I've already got the foil one, so that's that's fine. I, I mean that is great. And, oh, we got a dismal black water there. I am kind of happy that they uh, circled back around to the uh, the lifelands. All right, what do we got? A fierce guardian ship. Lyris of the Dream Den. Look at that guy. Oh, the little little little, little kit back there. That's adorable. Little little kit back there. Sky Cat Sovereign. And a Ragurin. A Ragurin? Raugrin. I think it's yeah, I think it's Raugrin. Raugrin Triome. Oh, that guy's adorable too. Ooh, we got our uh, foil bowl. Volk, volk, volkit, volkit. <laughs> A few more packs to go. My God, these boxes are so short. Hey, Wins card, Craig. All right, what we got behind the forest? A souvenir snatcher. Ruinous Ultimatum. Wow, look at that mana cost. That's kind of nice, though. At least it's a uh, de uh, destroy all non-land permanents your opponent, opponent's control. So I can see that being quite the commander powerhouse. Kira the Orphan Guard. Another Volpikit. Ooh, look at this guy. Luna Apex of Wishes. And it's mythic. Extended art, full art, goodness. Ooh, and right behind it, a Destroya Perfect Life Form. Very nice. And right behind that, we got a box topper and an Everquill Phoenix. Okay. Very nice. That was uh, a bit of a trifecta there. Catbird. Look at that guy. He's awesome. Let me do a little catbird. Yeah, and, and you'd think that they're being unique with the cat bird, but we already have cat birds in real life. They're called owls. All right, what we got down the swamp? A mind leecher. Ooh, we got ourselves a luminous brood moth, and it's extended art goodness. Another inspired ultimatum. Oh, no, this is a different one. Huh. Wow. It's an interesting uh, ability. Oop. Just sort of pulling everything up. Oh, we've got another Planeswalker. We got Luca, the Copper Coat Outcast. Not too bad. And we got another beer, this time in foil. We have a foil beer. Stick him up there with the cool guys. Oh, that's gorgeous too. I like I like the uh, the color scheme for that with the foils, the foiling. All right, two packs to go. Man, 
waited so long for this. And they were going by so quickly. I'm even taking it slow. Alright, what do you got here? Oh, okay, a Bonders ornament. That's uh, you know what you want to see in that slot. And a Titan's Nest. <coughs> oh, excuse me. It's the, uh, yep, it's the beer. <laughs> and we got another uh, box stopper. And cupboard in. God, that is gorgeous, too. Really loving the art in all of these. Holy cow. Oh, we've got another mythic here. Not quite box topper, but pretty awesome. Okay, last pack. Let's see what we can get. If I'm not mistaken, I think that Mothra might be one of the uh, the more valuable cards to get out of this set. <clears throat> okay. Let's see what we got. We got an Agitator Ant. Yep. He definitely looks like he would agitate. A Slither Wisp. Another inspired ultimatum, this time in its uh, box topper glory. <coughs> God, I got a tickle in my throat. Got a parcel beast. And a Zagoth Trion, another one. Oh! Look at that. Rodan Titan of Winged Fury in its full um, box topper gorgeousness look at that gorgeous and a cloud piercer nothing too special back there but yeah so i really really pleased with uh these pools and the cards the art the everything so yeah <coughs> god it's so much that it's put a tickle in my throat it won't go away, but yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you know, hit that little like button down there, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell, and you'll know uh, when I do more Ikoria goodness. I, like I said, there's going to be a lot more to come, so thanks again. Take it easy.